This is a map showing countries where it has never snowed. You don't even need to zoom in to see where the largest chunk of land is. It's no secret that many African nations have no record of ever seeing a snowflake. When you think about skiing on snow-covered slopes, Africa is usually the last place that comes to mind. Popular belief has it that Africa is one gigantic desert, a desolate, vast open land of emptiness where it's hot all the time. Skiing is typically associated with exotic European destinations like France, Switzerland, Italy and Aspen and Breckenridge in the United States. But Africa has quite a number of absolutely impressive ski destinations as well. Yes, I know the massive sweltering Sahara Desert is in Africa and it makes up about 30% of the continent's landmass. But between the southernmost tip of South Africa and the northernmost point of Tunisia, there is a vast diversity in climate. In this video, we are going to look at some of the top ski destinations on the African continent. First, we have Algeria. Who would have thought that the largest country on the African continent, which makes up a large part of the Sahara, is also a sought-after ski destination? Situated in the province of Buira, northern Algeria, in the Jujura mountain ranges, lies the Tikja Ski Resort, with an altitude of 1,600 meters or 5,250 feet. In the summers, Tikja offers some of the best rock climbing terrains and hiking areas, but in the winters, it welcomes countless visitors from Africa and abroad to its slopes. Apart from sporting near-perfect skiing conditions, the slopes at Tikja are also ideal for snowboarding and tobogganing. Those who are not into ski activities can simply enjoy the amazing landscape the mountains offer. Another popular Algerian ski destination is Shreya, which is located 60 kilometers from the capital city Algiers. For adrenaline junkies who love skiing and snowboarding, there are 0.5 kilometers of slopes available with the mountains providing a panoramic backdrop. The resort also boasts three ski lifts to transport guests to their starting point at an elevation of over 1,450 meters. It is ideal for skiing between the months of December and March. Following Algeria in the same neighborhood, Morocco, which boasts of two renowned ski resorts, this is thanks to the Atlas Mountains that provide necessary elevation stretching for 2,500 kilometers across the Maghreb region, making it home to what has become known as Morocco's snow line. The Michelifen Ski Resort is affectionately known as the thriving Moroccan Aspen for its popularity. It attracts thousands of skiers and snowboarders from all corners of the globe every winter. There are ski tours, lessons from professional instructors, and in-depth itineraries that allow tourists to check out the villages outside the resort. The other resort, named Ukaimeden, is the highest ski resort in North Africa, located at an altitude of between 2,600 meters and 3,200 meters on the Atlas Mountains. The resort is just 60 kilometers from the city of Marrakesh. It offers impressive views of the Atlas Mountains via a cable car that takes skiers to the top. Once there, there are 18 tracks all covered by a thick carpet of snow. Many of Morocco's top athletes visit the resort to train at this elevated altitude, which better prepares them for international competitions with varying levels of experience. Next, we have Afriski in Lesotho. It is a little-known fact that people have been skiing in various southern African mountain ranges since 1929. One of the most ideally suited locations are the Drakensberg Maluti Mountains of Lesotho, officially known as the Kingdom of Lesotho. A lot has changed since 1929. The renowned Afriski Resort, which is the highest ski resort on the continent, has become one of the country's top tourist attractions, hosting about 30,000 foreign visitors a year, mostly from South Africa, which surrounds Lesotho. 
The resort is 3,500 meters above sea level, where sub-zero temperatures are normal. The area receives snowfall for most of the year, although it's coldest during winter from May to, to August. The resort operates much as a European ski village does, including all the essential components of a great ski holiday, from the accommodation, ski equipment, snow passes, a ski school and many others. Lesotho is well known for its picturesque snow-caped mountain peaks, Maluti beer and the traditional Basotho blankets. Apart from sporting a one-kilometer-long ski slope along with a beginner slope, the resort also offers visitors a range of other activities, including a snow-covered freestyle zone. Sometimes snow on the ground can be sparse, so snow-making machines fill in the gaps, creating a giant white stripe on the treeless landscape. The peak is more than 11,000 feet above sea level, making it one of the top ski experiences on the continent. Afriski is one of only two skiing resorts in the whole of Southern Africa. The other is in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa, known as Tiffindel. Although many parts of South Africa enjoy snowfall during winter, there is only one fully-fledged ski resort in the country, situated in the southern Drakensberg in the Eastern Cape. The Tiffindel Ski Resort is a sought-after destination that has become a South African national treasure. Sitting at a reasonably high elevation of 2,810 meters, it is complete with skiing and snowboarding, but non-aspiring skiers can join in to enjoy a unique experience making snowmen, throwing snowballs or, or toboganing. Back in North Africa, Last December, social media users shared these photos and videos of snowfall across Alexandria, the third largest city in Egypt after Cairo and Giza, as the North African country endured an extremely rare cold snap. While it is extremely unlikely to see any snow or even the sight of people skiing on the slopes of the pyramids of Giza, it is possible to ski and ice skate indoors in Cairo. For those who have been to ski Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, picture a similar place. Only now you are at the Mall of Egypt in Cairo. Ski Egypt is the first indoor ski resort in Africa and has 22,000 square meters of winter wonderland. In addition to a mini version of skiing, there's bobsledding, tubing and even snow penguins. All in all is a perfect escape from Egypt's desert sun. Next on the list may not be skiing in the traditional sense. I thought it's cool to include an honorable mention from Namibia. Namib desert skiing isn't what you'd expect in Namibia. Here, snow is scarce. And while traditional skiing isn't an option, the locals have gotten creative by making the most of the desert terrain. A popular slope-inspired pastime is sandboarding, the world's oldest desert aka the Namib Desert. The best part is it's available all year round. There you go guys, that's a list of the top skiing destinations in Africa. You may have heard of Band-Aid, a classic festive hit, but next time you find yourself singing there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas time, remember that Africa is a diverse continent with a huge variety of landscapes and climates. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also definitely enjoy the ones on the screen. Be sure to check them out as well. If you'd like to help out with the channel, please head over to patreon.com slash reasonafrica. That's patreon.com slash reasonafrica. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.